G'daydly doodles, my friends. Today, uh, uh, yesterday we were doing a little bit of playing around with positioning in space. Today we're going to mess with the time stream. This is the one that I'm working on at the moment. Uh, it's basically, th this took me about 20 minutes or so, it's a ship um, sort of uh, dodging incoming fire, okay? So it's sweeping to the left and then sweeping to the right. We'll play it through and uh, then we'll uh, 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 go and do some more sound effects so you can see how it's done. All right, here we go. Out of the left, out of the right, and back to the middle. Okay, excellent. Now, it doesn't sound like much, does it? But that took me ages. All right, again. Nice, just because I'm quite impressed with myself. Okay, so <laughs> uh, here's the file where that's going to go. So at uh, at uh, about half a second, it starts. Wow, wow, goes to about two and a half seconds. And you'll hear that's just the start of the scene, basically. Why aren't you firing on him? I don't have a shot. Right? A little bit of ducking laser and that sort of thing. Uh, we'll go a little bit of um, between, looks like between five seconds and six seconds, there's not a lot happening. Uh, actually, nothing really happens again till around eight. So, uh, we're not going to move it too much in space for this one. We're just going to mess with time. So, between five seconds and eight seconds, we're going to do a little bit of play. And that's going to be pretty easy. Uh, so in um, in Audacity again, the free software that I uh, thoroughly enjoy using. It's very very good. Thank you to Jet, incidentally, for uh, encouraging encouraging me to play with this more. I thought it was just for recordings, you know, but it's actually bloody wonderful. All right, so five seconds we've got here. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm still pretty new to this and I'm not sure exactly why these time signatures are different and I'm not sure which one I should be paying attention to, so that's a little bit of a worry. I'm going to assume that this one up top is the real time. Yeah. And I think uh, the number underneath is the time used in the, uh, in the original file. That's going to be my assumption. Okay, so we're starting at about five uh, five seconds. So we're going to place our first boom, keeper spot here, signifying that this is the start of our special effect. And I said I wasn't going to move them much around in space, but uh, since I'm doing this video for you guys, we'll do both. We'll do both. So here, all right, I should explain these files then. Up the top, this is the time track. This is what we use to manipulate the speed of the file. Uh, and here is a copy of the actual audio file itself um, panned all the way over to the left and here's another copy panned all the way over to the right so when they're both playing it just sounds like you know normal normal stereo nothing going on okay but if we cut down one of the files or the other it's going to uh, move us in space to you know, to the other side all right so Starting at five seconds, I think the first one we're going to have uh, is uh, just a little bit of uh, maybe a drop down in speed, okay, and then up again. You don't want to do any movements that's that's much slower than a second because it just it moves by too quickly and just sounds like a muddle. Uh, now, since we are doing a little bit of speed manipulation I think we will have a dodge included and since the last one was moving out to the right which we achieved by uh, uh, panning down the left file we are going to this time move it to the left uh, by panning down the right file just a little bit not all the way this time just a bit okay let's play that and see how it sounds yeah, it's just a little nudge. That's 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 really all I was looking for, so that's absolutely fine. Okay, let's do something a little more intense at the six between six seconds and eight seconds. So we've got two to play with. Uh, we're gonna make it kinda cool. So six seconds, right at the start, we place our little uh, starting markers. It is a bit of a fiddly job. You can see every time I click to add one of these points, uh, it does move the track that I'm uh, messing around with. I wish there was some way to, you know, um, uh, allow me to just add the points without actually messing with them. Okay, six, six to eight, isn't it? 
So that's uh, okay. So there's the end markers. At eight seconds, because then we've got some really serious dodging. Uh, okay, so from six seconds here at the end of the last special effect to eight seconds here, this is our point. So these are actually a bit a bit off. That's all right. Uh, sorry about all the construction sounds in the background, by the way. Uh, there are, funnily enough, some construction that's going on down the road. Okay. Oh, did that disappear? Yes, I just removed those dots entirely. All right, cool. So, eight seconds. What do we want to do? We just swung someone over to the left and they sort of dropped their engines a bit. So let's, uh, let's pick them up and swing over to the right, hey? Here we go. Uh, so, naturally, to get over the right, all we're going to do is drop the left file a little bit. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So, it's just it's just some dodging, some random moving about the place. It's starting to look interesting, though, isn't it? That's good. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, so at 8 seconds in the actual file... The power reserves. Coming around for another pass. Try... Coming around for another pass. Around for another pass. Okay, so that let's start that at nine and take it to twelve. It'll be quite a big one. Um, okay, so starting at nine seconds. Here is our beginning point. Here is our beginning point. Coming around for another pass. Now then, that, that implies a sort of big sweep, doesn't it? A sweeping, sweeping move, a large move. Okay, so eight seconds to twelve. That's that's a big distance, isn't it? Look at that. Four seconds we're gonna be messing around with here. That's quite a lot. Now this is uh, incidentally, while we're on the subject of uh, the time that it takes and that sort of thing, this is uh, kinda of why I like doing short stories in amongst um, the uh, the main novels because in the short stories I get to do sort of level of experimentation and detail that I can't do on a novel. The last time I experimented on a novel was The Island of Doctor Moreau, and uh, I don't I don't like it. I'm not a huge fan. All right, so for this huge coming around for another pass, I'm imagining in my mind that we're going to do a big sweep. Uh, out to either side I'll probably go uh, out to the left just because the last move was to the right but a big sweep out to the left and then sort of coming around to the right a bit and then into the center so it's actually going to be sort of uh, three three sections and I think the first one is going to be the big sweep and that's going to be pretty long and yeah we we definitely want the engines uh, you know, powering up a bit. We want to be able to hear it, but maybe not not a lot. But it's going to sweep a long way out to the left. A long way. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go at about 11 and a half, I think. Oh, that kind of breaks my rules, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. 11 and a half, we'll pull it down a bit, bringing it back to the center at 12. Uh, and we will also shorten this little section. There we go. And we're going to take away a bit of left. Not a lot. Not a lot. All right. All right. Actually, let's do that. And then center. And then they'll be centered. All right. So let's see how that sounds. Ah, right, that, that little uh, extra bit was a bit of manoeuvring that was already in the file, annoyingly. You can see that. I put that in uh, last time. But that's okay. I think it just adds to it. I think it's all right. Let's listen to it from the start and see what we've got. See if it makes sense in our ears, you know. Dodge the left. Dodge the right. Little left. Little right. Can't really hear either of them. Big sweeping around. Mm, that might be too quick. What do you think? I'm not, oops, wrong tool. There we go. Uh, 
go. Oh, that changes that as well anyway. That's interesting. All right. Sweet. A little bit to the right. I think that's... It's too... Uh, it's too close. It's too close. All right. So I'm going to stretch this out to 12.30. And I think that will uh, help that. One more one. Maybe make that a little bit more obvious, eh? Hey? All right. Now let's try. Wall to the left, bit to the right, and centered again. I think that sounds good. I think that's good. All right. So there you go. We've just done the first uh, 12 seconds <laughs> of this section of the audiobook, and uh, it's taken a couple of hours. So yeah, this is not a technique that I could use for the big novels, uh, small sections of the big novels I could do. Uh, but uh, yeah, I won't be using it all the time. But it's awfully fun to do on little short stories. Excellent. I hope you found this interesting. If there's something else in particular that you want to know about, uh, let me know on the YouTube channel or uh, uh, wherever else you see this, and we'll have a look at it. Excellent. Thanks a lot, guys. Catch you around.